Oh, the thing! Hi! Right, communication. However, is not enough. What? Find someone who can understand. A certain pink girl. Nothing to think of. A certain cute pink hair girl. Let's go. I'll bring you to March 7. Everything okay? March. Can you help me translate something? Huh? Why is D Ting talking to you? I should be the one getting messages from cute little animals. And so you're not you're so, do you understand what it's saying, right? Of course I understand. All cute things in the world share a special connection after all. That's what makes sense. The first time we met D Ting was during the Kafka hunt. I could tell there was a mysterious connection between us. Whenever he barked, I understood what he wanted to say. Take the message he sent you. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Meaning, hello, dear. I found a strange thing at the port of Cloudford. You may want to come and have a look for yourself. <laughs> how would how to be ability to think? Hey, enough with the passive aggression. Yeah. The simple truth of the matter is that I can understand him. So what did D-Ting find at the port? Come on, let's go check it out. <laughs> Little D-Ting says he's been dutifully searching for clues all over the Sienjo. He notified us as soon as he found something strange. Like what? So what does he want us to take a look at? Yeah. In the air. Retainer to General Jing Yuan. I'm in active pursuit of a fugitive. The situation is unpredictable and developing rapidly. So I planted this jade tracer to record my whereabouts in case I lose contact. If anyone finds this tracer, please take it to the seat of divine foresight so the Cloud Knights have the necessary intel to act swiftly. Ah, oh, so it's a recording device. Deeting must have heard its signal and called us over here to investigate. Even the generator is a good thing in an action. He looks about eight or nine years old, and he's already the general's retainer. The Sancho really does have some child prodigies, huh? Yeah, true. Uh, given everything that's been happening on the Sancho recently, I reckon the only fugitive worthy of a retainer's attention would be a Stellaron hunter. I wonder how he's getting along. I thought, but blade tracking entry. Traces run cold in Starskip Haven. I'll have to ask the Cloud Knights in the area if they saw anything. Captain, could you spare a moment? Yan Ching? Why are you all the way out here on the front lines? Shouldn't you be back at the seat of Divine Foresight? Yeah. The General already has a lot on his plate. As his retainer, it's my duty to share the burden. Nothing new to report, I assume? Correct. After this blade escaped from the shackling prison, he disappeared into thin air. I wonder if he's even still on the ship. Or perhaps he had no intention of escaping in the first place. <sighs> what foul demons found their way across the stars to wreak havoc on the Lofu? That's why I'm here, to help the General eliminate those demons. Is that so? I didn't receive any orders from the General. <clears throat> uh, this is a covert operation. Then shall we dispatch a few knights for this operation of yours? No. I appreciate the gesture, but the fewer people who know about a covert operation, the better. Yeah. It's right to cover up. Making a big show of it will only scare the snake deeper into the grass. A good hunter must operate alone. Uh, or a pair. Dispatch a few knights. Huh. How incapable does he think I am? I might be young now, but just you wait.
the Psycrane hadn't been damaged, we could have extracted some footage. <sighs> it's no longer an option. Cycle activated. Great team member despite the return cannot be detected. Okay. The perimeter is well guarded, but there are no traces of the fugitive passing through. It seems he has no intention of leaving the Wafu for the time being. What about the camera angle? It's there. Already been supported. Okay. The Skyfaring Commission really made a mess of this. Who knows if we'll ever find all these missing ships? Starskips are blocked from entering or exiting. That. There's no way the fugitive got through. But if he fled toward the interior of the ship, it'll be hard to track him down over such a vast area. Hmm, a fugitive would still have to rely on Starskips to travel between different delves. If we start by investigating the Starskip he stole, maybe we can get a lead. Guess it's back to the docks again. Uh -huh. Uh, bad writing, uh, terrible pacing. Uh, no, wait, uh, what was I supposed to be doing again? <laughs> uh, focus, Yen Xiang. Can't let novels distract from your duty to the general, especially not ones as crummy as this. <laughs> that was a horrible writing. It looks like the influence of the Stellaron spirits is growing. My Lofu, Locha is very weak comparison. I don't have enough materials. Playing dead? What a childish trick. The truth of life and death is but a vision. Break! Totally worth it. What's this? This kind of wound is not the work of a cloud knight. That I work? The best prey is one that leaves traces. Here, Du Ting, let's follow the scent. Oh, her. Uh, civilians are still getting attacked? Where are the Cloud Knights? I think she's a Cloud Knight. Hey, don't panic! I'll get you out of there! Huh? They were on their feet a second ago. Hmm. Thank you for your assistance, young man. Just doing my job. The port has been sealed off. Why are you here alone? I came with a merchant ship. The shadows of old friends have returned to my thoughts of late. I came to reunite with them and relive old times. Who would have imagined the Lofu could become such a dangerous place? You chose a bad time to visit, I'm afraid. There's been an incident. It won't take long for the General to fix it, though. This place isn't safe. We should head to the nearest Cloud Knight garrison. In front of her chest, it just changed to a black to a full moon. By the way, did you see a man with long hair and black clothes around here? No. You... you can't see? Uh, uh, apologies, I, I thought... <sighs> My name is Yan Ching. I'm registered with the Cloud Knights. And your name is? Jing Liu. Nice to meet you. Um, Miss Jing Liu? 
Allow me to lead the way. We might have to take a bit of a detour, but I promise to get you to the Cloud Knight safely. Where exactly are we headed, young man? To the docks. Don't worry, you'll be safe. What did she came from? So, are you from one of the other Sienjo ships? The Yao Chiang? The Fang Hu? I'm from the Song Chung. The Song Chung? There's a ship called the Song Chung? Why haven't I heard of it? How long has she been away? It's Jing Liu. How long has it been since you last set foot on the La Fu? Are you always this talkative? Uh, just making conversation. I wanted you to know I was still here. Let's get going. <clears throat> Let's get going, miss. Careful. Take your time. Seriously. Hmm. Where do we go from here? Shh, quiet. We've got trouble to deal with first. Wait here a moment, miss. I'll be right back. And it should be gone, it should be come back. Shift the balance! Where did these guys come from? Huh, the general was right. There's a threat lurking on the Sienjo itself. You are quite the swordmaster, young man. Uh, you... you saw that? I heard it. A sword whistles through the air and rings out upon contacting the enemy. Whilst invisible to the eye, such signals reveal the quality of one's swordplay. As a musician listens to the notes of a song, so a poet listens to its rhyme. And in the flow of combat, a skilled swordmaster delivers both with their blade. I'll wager the Cloud Knight's capable of wielding six flying swords at a time, number few indeed. Uh, <laughs> thanks, miss. However, your zealousness inhibits your ability to hide your line of attack. Huh? Which causes your sword's song to become somewhat mumbled at the end. Uh, I guess the connection between music and swordplay is real after all. The general told me something similar. He said my swordplay was too proud and angular. He said it lacked maturity required to win the title Sword Champion. Sword Champion? If I recall correctly, that title is bestowed on one who reaches the pinnacle of swordsmanship in the Cloud Knights. But that was a long time ago. Right! Ever since the edition of the Vibratory today, the title of Sword Champion has gone unclaimed. But when everything settles down and the combat art ceremony returns, it's a title I'm determined to win. The Cloud Knights have many martial arts traditions. Who was it that instructed you in swordplay, young man? I see you're no stranger to the art. I won't keep you in suspense. Master is none other than General Jing Wen. General. I know you haven't visited for a long time, but you've heard of General Jing Wen. He says he has no affinity with the sword, that his skills are getting rusty. Well, if that's true, I never noticed from his training. All right, the coast is clear. Let's keep it.
Starskip Voyage Log can be accessed through the Dock Navigator Array. Found the cause. After dealing from them, it was... Here we go. Uh, active star skiff, active star skiff. Uh, there! This one goes past the Divination Commission and the Artisanship Commission. Okay. Well, my work here is finished. Now to make sure you get to a safe destination. Given the present circumstances, the Cloud Knight Garrison probably isn't a safe destination. Wouldn't you say? True. Correct. So we're not going there. I'm taking you to the Shackling Prison. Safe, well guarded, plenty of food, and a place to sleep. Since I'm right. Young man, if you wish to apprehend someone, shouldn't you have a reason? True. Suspicious behavior and half truths. Those alone are reason enough. You think you can fool me just because I'm a child? A sealed off port with a stranded passenger? Unlikely. Not to mention you walking the whole way here without so much as a stumble. You can see as well as I can. The biggest giveaway was your comment about my sword play. Correctly guessing the number of swords from the sound alone? <laughs> You'd have to be more than human. You're not blind at all, are you? I never claimed to be. You came up with that yourself. True. Uh... Fear not, young man. I hold no grievance against you, and have never held ill intent towards the Sienjo. The black veil covering my eyes is merely proof of my resolve to never look back. To never fall again into Mara and destruction. I came here to catch one person. It's quite fortunate that our paths have crossed. The one you're looking for, is it Blade? <sighs> He goes by Blade nowadays. A fitting name for someone who dedicated his mind and body to the ways of the sword. Take me to him, young man. You are no match for me, and therefore, no match for Blade either. Let me accompany you. There is no need to throw your life away. <laughs> We've not even drawn swords yet, and you declare yourself the winner? Let me offer you a word of advice. Don't underestimate me. I mean, you're still young. I was hoping to avoid a conflict with the Cloud Knights. How about this? Let's have ourselves a little contest. We can use the abominations that have infested the Lawfu as target practice. And see whose sword can slay more and slay faster. And if I win? Then I will obediently follow you to the Shackling Prison and receive whatever judgment awaits me there. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll keep my end of the bargain. But if I win, you have to share Blade's whereabouts with me. Fair enough? The Cloud Knight never gambles with official business. But in any case, you won't beat me. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> I admire your confidence. But what was it you said earlier about declaring a winner before swords were drawn? It would seem we've cleared every abomination from the area. Let's find another location and continue our contest. May the best swordmaster win. This place is brimming with Mara, the perfect environment for honing one's skills. Surely slaying abominations doesn't count as gambling with official business? How do we tell who's won? We go from here to the end of the path without leaving a speck of abomination behind us. The first one to the end wins. Deal. Lead the way. What if you're just using this as a chance to escape? <laughs> Jing Yuan trained you, all right. I think they have a history. Where did 
did she go? He's already ahead. Knew it. I, I I didn't even see you overtake me. Too slow, young man. And just gone. We're gonna lose. He's gonna lose. But how is that possible? What kept you this time? <gasps> You'll need to work harder. Otherwise, you won't even catch me in a star skiff. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Yeah, this kid already lost. A long time has passed since I wielded this sword. The heat of combat nearly cast me into the darkness. Come, young man. I'll let you finish up. I'll Let's let be honest. You make Draw your sword. Don't you know it's rude to keep an elder waiting? Inhibitant. Weak. What happened to that confidence of yours? What if you draw your sword? You must strike down the adversary and watch him and taught you how to serve abomination. But did he ever teach you how to deal with the Mara struck? The answer is there is no difference. The sword pierces the body and severs its life. If this sword came for your throat, would you be able to deflect it? Did you think this sword play was just a game of victory and defeat? No! Swords descend! Your final move was the only one that didn't disappoint. I... I lost? Our contest has not yet come to a conclusion. For I have yet to make my final move. And the field has no opponent. Is he crying? Unsheathing this sword without merit is to blaspheme the divine will of the Rainbow Arbiter and invite calamity. You... Even with your strength, if you were to cross paths with Blade, it would mean death for you. I can give you a more dignified end than dying at his hands. To die as a swordmaster, having witnessed the perfection of my technique. Refined a thousand times over. What say you to that, young man? <laughs> Ooh, there you go. <laughs> you have courage. Not bad. Take those records you found. Thank you, young man. That move was a token of my appreciation. We were fated to meet this day, and in days to come. <sighs> this mysterious woman also wants to find her whereabouts of Blade. Just the thought of hope. No. No, no matter what she wants to do with the fugitive, she must not be allowed to get to him first. No, 
No, no matter what she wants to do with the fugitive, she must not be allowed to get to him first. Well, what the hell? It, it just doubled. I have to pick up the pace. Start the record checking. Hold on a minute. And that's the end? There's nothing else in the operations log? It's like a good lip hanger. Mm, that Jingliu seems pretty dangerous. <sighs> the Stellaron crisis sure has attracted a lot of strange people to the law fu. Uh -huh, that's true. Shouldn't we hand this over to Ching Yuan as soon as possible? <laughs> Without a doubt, this Jade Tracer belongs to Yang Xing. I can't thank you enough. Xing Yuan. You already accessed the recordings? Uh, she accidentally pressed a button. No. no harm done. She was my mentor and my superior when I was a member of the Cloud Knights. However, she left the Sienjo a long time ago. If you see her, be sure to keep your distance and notify me immediately. Sienjo? He took on the charge of pursuing a major criminal. It is not my place to impede him for fear of his well-being. That is the nature of the Cloud Knights and their duty. I do have confidence in him, though. I'll play. Forgive me, but I cannot disclose this information. I don't have any other questions. Thank you again for your help, friends from the Express. The situation remains unpredictable, so take care. I hope to be able to drink and talk freely with you once again when everything is settled. 